What's going on, family? Once again, it is Raw and Real with this dude, Pastor Walk. What's up, brother? What's up, family? I hope and pray everybody is uh, doing well today. Peace up, eight town <laughs> down. I had, to, I, had to I had to put it in there, man. <laughs> hey, well, I tell you what, that's some gangster stuff. Hey, one of the things we talked about on Sunday was some gangster moves. There, there it is. Uh, the strong man must be bound. Yeah. I really wanted to, to have a, an opportunity for you to unpack this thing. I mean, it, it messed with me, so I got a couple of questions for you, man. Shoot. But I want you to, to unpack a little bit of that message from Sunday. Well, man, I, I, t- I tell you, man, I want to encourage everybody to just go back and watch it, uh, check it out for themselves. Uh, just kind of hard to capture, but a very pa- powerful passage of scripture from Jesus uh, um, teaching. Um, um, it starts with an a individual that is demon possessed and is blind and and uh, and can't uh, and can't speak. I believe what were his two ailments, and uh, it was something that started in the spiritual realm, but it manifested in in the, in the natural. And so we talked about how sometimes when we are dealing with issues in our life, sometimes we not resolving it because we're dealing with the, the fruit of the issue but not the real root so yeah so you think about it maybe he he spends his life trying to try to get go to see various uh optometrists right for his eyes and things of that nature and i don't care how many eye doctors he went to see it would have never worked because right. that was not the real issue the real issue was that he was demon possessed so how many times do we work on stuff in our life and uh, we're dealing with the fruit but we never really get to the root so uh and as they were going through, he started to question Jesus and uh, about how he was able to move in his matter. And he used this as an example of the strong man. And um, he said, unless a stronger man uh, comes into the house, uh, you can't bind a strong man to be able to, to do what you got to do. And certainly uh, Jesus uh, was referring to himself in some regards as the strong man who enters our situation and binds the things that keep us bound. So. Uh, the strong man must be bound, and a lot of times he he runs loose uh, in all of our affairs, and uh, that's what we have to bound if we're going to get to the place where God will have us be. No doubt, no doubt, and and I, I love how we when you unpack the piece about we deal with the fruit, yeah, but we don't deal with the with root. the root. That's right. Um, you know, I, I I deal with a lot of different things I had to deal with in, in in other issues that I had in my life. Yeah. And what I ended up finding is that the issues yep. that were my big thing, the, the, the thing that uh, the North Carolina Department of Corrections may have said I had yep, to address, yep, 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 right, right. <laughs> that had nothing to do with, with the, the real root, problem. With the real problem. The yep. real problem was that my thinking was wrong. Wow. You know, the real problem was that there was some, uh, my, my, my mentor calls me an egomaniac with an inferiority complex. Oh, man, that's fancy right there, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there was a lot of root issues that once I, once I kind of like got the fruit yeah. out the way, yeah. that I really had to deal with. And yeah. until those things were actually addressed, I was gonna still have a different fruit mm-hmm. problem. That's it, that's it. You know Cause it's gonna manifest in different ways until you dealt with exactly. the real thing. Yep, exactly. wow. So there's a there's a part of this strong man part that I kind of wanted to kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw this to you as a, as a totally off the cuff type of thing. Okay, shoot. That we talked about how there has to be a stronger man yep. to come and bind up that strong man. Yep. And uh, you know there's the there's scripture that talks about like the kingdom suffered violence, yeah, right. But the violence taken by force. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's good to not have that strong man be totally killed because you know he ain't never going anywhere. Mm-hmm. But if he bound up sitting in the corner, you know what I'm saying? That tells any other little strong man they want to come <laughs> through here. Look, you see, I got your boy over here. <laughs> <I don't laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when you walk up in here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what could happen to you. you. Right. And sometimes I I need to have that that sense of validation because I know it's not me. Yeah. But I got a guy. Yeah, I got a guy who put something on, oh, you oh, yeah. and it'll sit you in the corner. Oh yeah. So, I, I, I kind of like encourage the people if you can on that kind of note that sometimes you know because you made a great point. You was walking up and down the aisle talking about the strong man ain't gonna run away from here just because you running around the aisle. Right. He's still gonna be oh, yeah. here. Oh yeah. But if you bind him up, yeah, send him in the corner. Yeah. Then you know you have victory somewhere. That's so I mean, kind of kind of unpack that a little. bit. I would just you know uh, say that I think that the, the key is is that at the end of the day, um, these the, this obstacle this. Uh, uh, sometimes demonic influence, sometimes spiritual influence that tries to kill, steal, and destroy is ever present until our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ ultimately returns and deals uh, with uh, him as the Bible has declared will happen. And so the reality of the situation is, is that you need um, the stronger man on, a, on an ongoing and continuous basis to bind up the strong thing strong man that has been impacting your life 
And to your point, the good news is when the stronger man shows up and binds up anger, the next time something else shows up, right? Um, you are reminded as a witness as well that if I was able to defeat anger, I can defeat depression. If I was right. able to bind up anger and depression, then I could bind up fear. And the list goes on and on. And after a while, kind of using your analogy, you find yourself looking back and you'll have a whole lot of things that are uh, bound up and uh, in, in, in your life uh, that uh, need to be bound. And now you can operate and go forward and be who God has called you to be and do what God has called you to do. No doubt. No yep, doubt. Yep. And, that's, and that's, that's good news today. That's great news today. So oh, I can, yeah. I, can some of them demons still walk yes, around. Sir. Yes, sir. That's, that's your final <laughs> destination <laughs> over there. That's it. That's it. So family, as always, we want to make sure that you have an opportunity to reach out to Pastor Wall. If you ever have any questions, how can the people get in contact yeah, with you? Yeah, W Bowers at ChosenCityChurch.com. W Bowers at ChosenCityChurch.com. Always good to hear from you, family. Love you all. Mean it. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your supports and all your amens. We love you all. We appreciate you and look forward to connecting soon. All right, family. See you next week. Take care, everybody.